pool and it was so fun so today um i am going to be teaching you guys how to make the most delicious 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 cookies ever like they are my favorite they're chocolate chip cookies and i made a batch here so you can see they're like giant and really tart and delicious and i am also going to be selling these at my local farmer's market and right now i'm just gonna make a second batch and i was like why don't i show you guys how to make it so basically i'm just gonna teach you guys how to make these delicious cookies so let's get started okay guys so sorry so for the first part we are gonna get get your mixer mine is so heavy and um we are gonna get the bowl out <laughs> okay, so in this bowl, we are going to be adding some ingredients. First, we add two and one fourth cups of flour into our mixer bowl. Okay, now you have to add one teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of salt. I kind of put them together in this mini bowl. Yeah. Now we need a cup of butter, which basically means two full sticks. Okay. Now we add three fourths cup of sugar. And, oh my gosh, I keep hitting this. And three fourths cup of brown sugar in the bowl. And brown sugar kind of reminds me of kinetic sand. Okay, guys, for this part. I am gonna add a little bit of vanilla, but if you guys do not have vanilla, add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So this is vanilla, like real vanilla, and so it has so much flavor in it that you're only supposed to use like this much. <laughs> Measure it good this much okay now that we did all of that stuff wait let me close this come on don't break don't break okay there we go now that we um mixed all of these in our bowl we are gonna oh my god put it on our mixer and mix oh and, and we if you have one of these mixer thingies, this is basically the best option for me because it, like the whisk, let me show you. The whisk one, this one gets like batter stuck in the middle of it and you don't really want that to happen. So this one is like my favorite one. And if you have a long sleeve shirt, you can like put this in there and pretend you're a pirate, but not today. <laughs> Okay, let's, let me just lift. Okay, so basically we're gonna mix on, on um, number four, for like, until it gets creamy. Okay, here we go. guys so it's basically like kind of came together like the whole thing is kind of almost brown so that's where i kind of call cream now we need two eggs we beat them so oh my gosh i never cracked the egg with one hand oh my gosh oh my gosh oh i did it so basically um you put one egg in and beat it for a few minutes and then do the other one. So I'll show you a second. So now that my hands are washed, I, I, wait, let me close this. 
Here we go. Okay. Now we're kind of gonna like let the egg get kind of like mixed into the cookie dough. Oh my gosh, sorry guys. There we go. So I'm probably don't tell me there's there was flour on the camera. Okay, so, sorry guys. So we are gonna put it on one and then two. Let's, and just wait until the egg gets beaten up. After you do that egg and it gets completely mixed in, do the next one. The second. Okay guys, after that all mixed, like both of the eggs, and it gets like super cookie doughy, feels like Play-Doh, and yeah, we are gonna be adding chocolate chips. You can add as much chocolate chips as you want. I'm, I'm adding like three fourths of a bag, cause, oh, and save some chocolate chips because you'll need them for after. So, oh, and I need to eat some first. Mmm, they're delicious. Sorry, guys. Okay, before I eat too many, let's pour it in. And we don't want to damage the chocolate chips, so. Sorry. Oh, and also, I'm trying to clean the eggs and stuff. So, don't mind me. Okay. Oh, and I got the rest of the chocolate chips already. So, basically now, we are going to be folding it in. So, two. Put it on two. And, um, just wait until the chocolate chips kind of, like, go into the dough. Like, have you ever ate, um, chocolate Cookie dough, cookie, cookie dough ice cream, it's supposed to look like that. Yeah. So I'll see you later. Okay, guys, after the chocolate chip cookies, I mean the chocolate chips fully get mixed in the cookie dough, you will have to preheat your oven to 375. And start. So now let's get to actually doing the cookie stuff. Hey guys, if you if you use this recipe and you love the cookies, make sure to subscribe and go on one of my shorts and sub and um comment I use the recipe. And yeah, I would know that you used it. And I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers, so please subscribe. Okay, now I have my cookie dough. We're gonna kind of knead it to where it's not sticky to us. I mean, like, don't try to stick it to your hands. Try to make a ball, and yeah. Okay, I'll bring the pan, and then we can get started. Okay, we're gonna grease the pan so the cookies don't stick. I'm gonna put some oil, and I wash my hands, and now we're gonna kind of like spread it, spread it out. Okay, so now you can do it with a, like a, um, a, the thing. I forgot what it's called. So, like, you can measure the weight of it and, like, see how big you want them for all of them to be the same size. But I'm trying to, like, keep this simple. So, I'm, so basically, you, you're going to make little tiny balls with your cookie dough like this and like cookie dough balls and then we're gonna weigh them so that none of the other ones stick to each other because we don't want we do not want that to happen oh hi cyrus okay guys so basically um i'm gonna do this and then um i'll show you the next step 
you do not want them to stick to each other. So I'm, I'm kind of like putting them out like this and it only takes 10 minutes to bake. So I'm gonna take it out and use the pan again. But Cyrus made the main one to eat himself. And so basically, um, yeah, I'm gonna let the oven preheat and then we're gonna get started. So I just put the cookies in the oven and I have to wait 10 minutes and then get them out. So when you bring them out, put some chocolate chips on top. Come push them in and they'll melt. And yeah, that's it.